Hi guys, for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can easily apply a material in your 3D object in Lumion. You're excited? I'm excited. Let's get into it. Hello everyone. First of all, you need to import your 3D model to Lumion. And then if you're ready, let's get started. First, let's go down to the user interface and try to locate the material icon. The glass or the cup icon is the material icon. Let's click. And after that, let's move our mouse around. And as soon as we point our mouse to any of these surfaces, it highlighted the surface. Choose the surface that you wanted to apply a material. Click. And then as soon as you click, the material library pops out. Here in the materials library, you will find a lot of options. You have here the new, the custom materials, outdoor materials, indoor and various types each of these options are categorized to a variety of surfaces or a variety of materials let's say i'm gonna choose the various material and then i'm gonna choose the 3d grass category and in here you will find a variety of surfaces that you can choose like for example this clean cut grass click and as you notice as soon as i click the material the surface that I chose a while ago changes into grass. Let's zoom in and then just double click the material that you've chosen. And then you will find a lot of sliders in this clean cut grass setting. First, you will find this very small color icon. Just click and in here you can adjust the color of the grass to whatever color that you want. And if you're done, just click outside this box. And also on how to adjust the texture of the material, just click and hold the mouse and then drag the slider. You can experiment all of these sliders. And if you're done, just click here the save changes. At this point guys, let's try some other materials and let's check their settings. Okay, so choose one of those surfaces that you have. And from here, let's go to the outdoor option and go to the bricks category. And as you scan the surface options for this brick category, you will find some surfaces with letter D symbol on it. As you click these materials, you will find a displacement map in this surface. And the options are familiar. In here, you will also find the colorization setting where you can change the color of the bricks to whatever color that you want you can also play around with these sliders let's zoom in first to the material here we can clearly see the full effect of these sliders as we adjust the closeness of the bricks the reflectivity the relief as you can see also you can adjust the displacement or the height map of the surface you can also adjust the scale to whatever scale you are required to if you have that very very tiny adjustment you just press and hold the shift key and then click and hold the mouse and then adjust your slider to the left or to the right and then if you're done next up we'll go to the positioning of the bricks you can adjust the X, Y, Z offset. You can experiment on this slider. And again, if you have that very, very tiny adjustment, just press and hold the shift key and then click and hold the mouse and drag to the whatever direction you wanted it to be. If you're done, let's go ahead to the orientation. Go ahead and have a very, very good experience on that sliders the heading, the pitch, and the bank. And if you're done, let's go ahead to the transparency. Here we are using the waxiness setting of this material. And if you're required to have the transparency, just click the transparency and automatically it will turn off the waxiness setting of that material. Let's move on to settings. Here you can adjust the emissiveness of this object if it is required. But it is a brick, so it is not required to be emissive. But I have here a LED light on my steps. Let's go ahead and click this 
LED light and once again you have these options of the color and if you're good just go ahead and go down to the settings and click the emissiveness of this material and as you can see as soon as you drag the slider the light pops out on that material and it become emissive you can also adjust this peculiar if you're done let's go ahead to the weathering of this brick material let's go back to the brick okay click the brick and then you can adjust the weathering of this material so it is a brick automatically it is a stone so also you can choose whatever weathering that you want you can use the wood if you're required to in my situation right now i need to choose the stone and go ahead and use that slider to adjust the weathering of the material you can also adjust the edges of of this material there is no perfect edge so let's try to make sure that the edges of these objects are rounded a little bit and the last one is the foliage where you can put a leafy texture on that surface okay if you're done just click save changes so next up i'm gonna teach you how you can copy your material like for example just click the bricks and then we wanted this brick to be copied to this material so let's just click the brick and then click copy and then go ahead and click the destination of that material and here you will find that Lumion bring you back to the material library just click the standard and then from here just click paste material there you go you're done and if you wanted this setting to be used to the other drawing you can save this material setting just click the save material make sure to locate the perfect folder that you wanted to save this material setting like for example here in the downloads just provide a file name like for example bricks one two three then save and if you wanted to have that material back to your next project, just open this folder, the load material folder, and then locate that brick setting that you've saved a while ago. Just select and then open. Okay. And then if you're done, don't forget to click the save changes to your surface material. At this point, guys, I'm going to teach you how you can possibly import your own material to Lumion. Just click the previous material that we have, the brick material, and then just go back, click the new and standard, and then from here you can import your own map. Click the color map, choose your own material, click and then click open. It takes time guys for about 3 to 5 seconds, it depends on the graphics card that you have in your computer. And then next up, click and change the color map. Click and then open. Same thing with the displacement map. Just click the displacement map, choose, and then click open. And there you go. You cannot see anything on this surface. Make sure to adjust the map scale. Okay, now it appears. You can adjust the position whatever position that you required okay you can adjust the closeness of the surface the reflectivity the relief displacement or the height map of the of the brick you can also change the pitch and the heading just like that and if you're done just click the save changes and that's it for today guys thank you for checking in my video and until the next vlog thank you so much guys bye bye